I'm here if you need me. You know, telling you what happened and knowing that you're going to keep my secret, it's helped more than anything. Put the file back to Reese and guess who was coming out of her hotel room just as I was coming in? John Durant. Yeah. He is obviously pressuring her to get evidence against you and Sonny, but she says as long as the two of you don't break the law, then she has no reason. Are you okay? I was just thinking how... how things happen that are so... so terrible. The pain never goes away. Some days are better than others, but... It's just always there. Like Michael's death. I know what it's like. I mean, there's no way to make peace with it. Well, you know, the only thing that helps just a little bit is to know why. I really thought I would help you to talk to your sister. It did. It did help me. It made me realize that I gotta see this thing through with Michael. I'm gonna keep searching until I find out for sure what happened to him. Understand that you have to find out why Michael died. But you cannot do it all in one night, Jason. You have to give yourself a break. Is there anything that I can do for you? Anything at all? No. Why don't we at least take a walk? It's a really nice night out. We could just get some fresh air. No, I'm, I'm okay. No, Jason, you're not. I know that your heart is broken about Michael, but please, Jason, please, let me help you get through this. There's nothing you can do. I'll be upstairs. Just call me if you need anything. some takeout. Is there anything else that you need? Just having you close makes me feel better. You know, that could possibly be the best compliment anyone has ever given me. Which is good, because if you suddenly started flattering me and telling me really romantic things, I'd probably run for the door. Because I wouldn't want to disappoint you in any way. Why, why would you disappoint me? I could make a list. But it... It wouldn't be accurate. Because you never make me feel like I'm not good enough. Jason, with you, I feel like I can be myself, and it's okay, and there's a comfort in that. It's like this calmness inside that no one can take away from me, and I just wish for a second that I could give you a part of what you've given me. Take care of it. I'm sorry, I gotta go. There's something business problem. Mm. 
Sandoval's just hit us hard. Two shipments were hijacked. Anybody hurt? No, nothing serious. The, the safe in the B Street warehouse was also hit. 30000 in cash, no books. <sighs> they know I let Luke go. They think I'm vulnerable. They want to keep me that way. Faith showed them that the, the way to get to me is through my family. Or something else happened? Yeah. Somebody tried to kill Rick and Alexis hit and run. And that's only the start. Hey! This one's for Sonny! We need to eliminate the Sandovals, all of them, at once, with, with no warning. Agent Marshall is watching our every move. If we make a move against the Sandovals right now, she's going to use it to put you away. She's not going to have any evidence. We need to set this up carefully so it doesn't get traced back to us. I'll start working on it right away. They're going to be the example, Jason. The Sandovals need to know that anybody who touches my family... What happened to Michael can never happen again. I am warning you, get out now! No, give me the bet! Tell me, Jason Morgan knows girlfriends out on the street. If you know him, fight. Jason's girlfriend, you know that he's gonna kill you for this. Now let go of me! Let go! What do you want to do with her? In there! No! Let go of me! No! Get out! Now! Get out! You're gonna help us send a miss no. Sonny Corinthos, honey. No. Get your hands off of me. She's a spunky one. She can really do some damage. Get off of me. Get off. No. Get off. My son. You woke up Sonny Fox. Pleasure dream. You know what? That's enough fooling around. It's time to no. send that message. No. You are not going to touch me. Sam. Sam, are you here? Last chance. Get out while you can. No? <laughs> huh? No, get off! Get off of me! Let go! Let Fun's go! Over, no, get away from her! No problem. Let her go. Don't shoot. Am I? Don't do it. Emily, don't do it. I'm okay. Please, put the gun down. Listen to her. You were begging me to play alone. I'm gonna stay right here and keep being Nicholas. Ah! Emily. Just put the gun down. Emily, it's over. I'm gonna take care of this. Okay, put the gun down. Hurting her. He's not gonna hurt her anymore. I won't let him trust me. You can trust me, just just take your finger off the trigger. It's okay, I got it. Let go. so much you saved me okay can you get to Windermere by yourself Ty Ty you don't need to stay here and make a statement no, no. I'm, I'm gonna take care of that for you okay right now I need you to go those guys are not gonna hurt you I need you to go straight home do not talk to anyone what about Mike, Mike you, you have to go before he comes to okay 
Okay. Oh. What now, Jason? What now? I want you to call the cops. Tell them everything that happened, but do not tell them Emily was here. No, no, no. What are you doing? You, the, you're putting your fingerprints all over yeah, the gun. That's, that's the idea. idea. I don't want them questioning Emily. I tried to get to my shotgun, but they no, saw me. Mike, it's okay, they're gone. Yeah, uh, Sam? She's she's fine, nothing happened to her. Uh, okay. Listen, thank God you came along when you did. Jason, an ambulance is on its way. Yeah, yeah. Mike, I gotta talk to Sam for a minute. Just, just try to take it easy, okay? Yeah, believe me, I will. Okay. Are you sure about this? I do not want Emily involved. She's been through enough, so have you. Just, it, it all happened so quickly. You did, know? did those guys hit you? Okay, I, I was giving it all I got, you know, and then, and then Emily showed up, thank God, and... Did, did you recognize the guys? No, but... But, but what? What? Did they, did they say something? They wanted to send a message to Sonny. And that's why they went after Mike, and then I showed up. I tried to stop them, and then they decided to use me to send the message instead. We'll be okay, Mike. So I, I, um, I came around the corner and I saw these two guys roughing up Mike. What'd you do? Well, I, I yelled at them and I told them to stop and then they knocked him unconscious and they came after me and they started to throw me around. They were big and they were getting the best of me and I fought. I fought as hard as I could and I got scared and I started screaming and that's when Jason showed up. With a gun? No, no. He got Mike's gun from behind the counter and he told them to leave and they did. What's your side of the story? I, I saw Sam struggling with the guys, and I came in from the back, saw Mike on the ground. I didn't know if he, I didn't know if Mike was dead or just knocked out. Went behind the counter, grabbed the shotgun. That's when the guys took off. Did you recognize the men? No, they were wearing ski masks. Any indication of what the motive was? Simple robbery, some sort of retaliation against you and Sonny? Heck, I, I have no idea. Did they say anything? I told you all I know. I got. You know what? I got to get her home. She's hurt. I have okay. a few more questions, Mac, Jason. Mac, you know where I live. I'll sign whatever papers you want. I'll fill out a report. I need to get her home or to the hospital. All right. All right. I'll be okay. in touch. Thank you. Hello. Sandoval, say Kelly. They beat up Mike and they attack Sam. It's uh, it's business. Come on, get this call. <clears throat> But Mike has a concussion. Took him to the hospital. Oh, how's Sam? She, you know, tried to fight the guys off. She swore she's okay. You sure it was the Sandoval's? They told Sam they were using her to send a message, Sonny. They need to pay. They will. We just gonna have to set this up. All right, we're gonna figure out the alibis. We're gonna hit them when their guards are down. And we just gotta make sure that. Hey. Hey. So, you okay? Yeah, I ran a bath and I can't get my shirt or my coat off. Oh, my whole yeah. body is just really sore. Okay. Okay. <sighs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, am I hurting you? No. No, what hurt was trying to get it off myself. Out. Oh. Got it? Yeah. You're banged up. You know, just I, I bruise easily. Are you all right? I thought so. I don't know, Jason. Maybe it's a delayed reaction, but. I saw these guys and they were attacking Mike and I, I got so mad and then, and then they came after me and I I felt this rush of anger and I fought really hard and then I kept fighting. I kept fighting even though I knew I had been trapped. I knew I just... It's okay. You're safe. You're safe now. I know. Just my whole body wiped out, you know. And I don't know what I'm 
feeling right now, whether it's helplessness or relief or gratitude for being saved. It's all right. I take care of you. Jason, there's no way you could have known those guys were going to be there. Anyone close to me or Sunny? It's a target. But I'm home.